You can have an orgasm without ejaculation. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was a little astounded at that. I ain't that old. <laughs> I need some explanation on that one. I do something called semen retention because I feel like, first and foremost, your semen is your life force. Your semen is so powerful that you can create a whole another being. When we're having sexual relations, we're taught to release but we haven't been taught of the benefits of when you hold it in. You ejaculate, boom, and then men get tired. That's because your ejaculation is equivalent to running like five to 10 miles. So with that energy that you have, you could do so much more with it, which is keeping it within you. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to CN Take Man. My name is Jay CN. Coming back with another one, man. You already know the most I done woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great. You know what I'm saying? But let me show y'all what it look like out here before we head off, man. You know, we got another beautiful day, man. Y'all see them chemtrails up there. You know, y'all see the, you know, the trees back there with the fall colors on them. You know, we winning, man. We up, we winning. Y'all see the sun hitting off the buildings, bruh. You know. Life is good, man. Life is good. No matter what you're going through, man, know that life is good because you're still living it, you're still striving. You know what I mean? We're continuing every day to, you know, get closer to our creator, man, you know? What do we have to complain about? You know, we got a lot to complain about, but why? What are we gonna do that for? What's that gonna do? You know what I'm saying? We can sit and complain all day, but what we doing about it? You know what I'm saying? What we what we what we willing to do, you know, to fix the issues that we have. Because if you ain't willing to fix nothing, if you ain't willing to do nothing, if you ain't willing to use your energy for the right things and put forth the effort, instead of doing all that complaining, instead of appreciating, then listen, bro, you ain't talking about nothing. You ain't on nothing. You know, but you know, that's why I really wanted y'all to see that clip from NLE Chopper, man. Because if you want to do more with your life, and listen, bro, semen retention going to be that key. You know what I mean? And not only if you want to just do more, but if you want to do it with efficiency. And guess what, bro? Semen retention is where you need to be. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not just doing something. You're doing it with efficiency. With great focus, great energy, all of that, bruh. You precise with it. And that's what you want to be, man. If you want to be at your best, man, then listen, bruh. You know, you want your energy at the highest peak. You know what I'm saying? Who would, like, bruh, you ever seen somebody, like, giving, like, half-assed energy or something and it just be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's... You know, and you could just, like, tell. Like, don't nobody want to see that. Don't nobody want to be around that. You know what I mean? Your conversation just low energy. You know, everything about you. You know, your game is low energy. You know? You know, your attitude is low energy, bro. Like, don't nobody want to be around like that type of half-ass, like, type of, you know, just frequency, bro. You know, and you wouldn't want that with you either, bro. Because it's just like, you know, before you know it, like, you never giving your all with anything you want everything but you never giving your all to get it so like i said what you go you know what what, what 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 you sitting around complaining about you know what i'm saying you complaining but you the one that want you the one that's doing you the one that's doing it to yourself with your lifestyle you know what i'm saying you doing it to yourself with your lifestyle so guess what bro you know you going you gonna get half a results you know what i'm saying your results Ain't gonna be what you ain't gonna ever be where you want them to be, you know. You ain't that them, them numbers ain't gonna ever come out right. I guarantee you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not doing the right things with your energy, man. You know, you think every just because it's there, you gotta use it. You know what I mean? Like that analogy I gave y'all before. Like when your moms would tell you, like, you know, when you just asking for stuff because you see it, you want some juice because you see it. You know, you want some cookies because you see it. You want some junk just because you see it, bro, just because it's there. And that's what a lot of people do with their life force energy. Just because it's there, they're going to use it. Just because they, they feel some type of way, they're going to use it. You know what I mean? And they're going to abuse it. They're going to abuse it. I was an abuser of my life force energy, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? And what a lot of people don't realize is that, bro, like you just grow an addiction when you're doing that. You know, you become leaning on that when you're doing that. So it's like, you know, you're never going to be able to be one of those top performers in anything that you do in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because you're so leaning on that and your energy is just getting depleted every day. Every time, every time you feel a need to just beat off. Every time you feel a need to release. Every time you feel a need to chase these women. Every time you feel a need to do all of that, bruh. You know, it's never going, your energy never going into the right things. You know what I'm saying? What NLE Chopper is saying is correct. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him because at the end of the day, bro, if you want to, like, you know, you can just be doing a lot of a lot of other things with that, you know, and that's that's even more that's even more commendable to hear it out of somebody that you know that probably get chased around by women all the time, just being a rapper. You know what I'm saying? It's groupies everywhere. It's groupie. It's groupies everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, you could pretty much just jump in something whenever you want to. You know, so to be able to abstain from that and show some restraint, show some discipline in your life, bruh, is just next level. It's just next level, man. You know, you may not have it like NLE Chopper where, where, you know, you're getting all these actual women, but, you know, you still, you know, showing restraint with staying away from porn, bruh. You know what I'm saying? It's right there at your disposal every day. Every day. You one decision away from falling off. One decision away. You know what I'm saying? You know? And it's so easy to make. It's right there. It ain't nothing that you got to pay for. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing that, you know, at least, well, let me take that back. Because, you know, a lot of people act like, oh, you know, this is another reason. Just because they ain't spending no money on it, they think that they could... You know, they could go ahead and abuse it, bruh, but you abusing it with your health, dog. So you actually are paying for it. You paying for it with vitamins and nutrients. You paying for it with your mental health. You know what I mean? You paying for it with your energy. You know, you paying for it with your social skills. You paying for it with your focus. You know what I'm saying? You know, you paying for it with, you paying for it with, 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 with your talent. You know what I'm saying? Because your talent taking the hit too. And whatever it is, you paying for it with your dreams. You paying for it with a lot of things. So I take that back. My bad. You actually are paying for it. You know, but casting because they ain't spending no money on it. That is okay to do. You know, and not thinking about anything else in their life at all. That's why Hosea 4 and 6 say, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know, that don't even just go with just the scripture and stuff like that. That go with our life in general, bro. You know, because we didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't know what we was doing. You know what I'm saying? But now that we do know, you know, now we on the go. You know what I mean? You know, now we ready for some more in our life. We ready for more blessings. You know what I'm saying? We ready to go up more levels. You know what I mean? We ready for more achievements. We ready for more gains. You know what I'm saying? Even with finances, we ready for more finances that's going to come our way, bro. Because we in our bag. We got to stay there. We got to stay there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Instead of using abuse and something that's supposed to, you know what I mean? Just that's supposed to, you know, have you on the, on the next level. Have you being the best version of you. You know what I mean? Have you out here, you know, recreate, re recreating life. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't doing none of that with it and you just wasting away, bro. Listen, bro, you are losing. You not recreating life. You not bringing something beautiful into this world. You know what I mean? You bringing toxicity into this world, into your life. You know what I'm saying? You bringing drama in your life. You bringing addiction in your life. That's the only thing that you recreating, bro, is failure. You recreating failure. You know what I'm saying? You got casters really out there. You know, use their life force energy for the right reasons. Now they got the right woman in their life. Now they on their purpose. You know what I mean? Now they got the right energy, the right attitude. They on the right frequency. You know what I mean? They got the right relationship with the most high. And listen, bro, they doing big things. They doing big things. They actually bringing in the life, 
you know what I'm saying, that they could raise up right. But what you bringing in every time that you jack off? What you bringing in every time you release to pornography? Demon childs? Demon kids, that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's all you're doing is entertaining demons when you do that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you're giving birth to every time you release, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because that addiction is just growing in you. And guess what, bro? You know, you know now everything about you toxic. So you're going to go out there. You're going to think like it. You're going to view women like it. You know what I mean? You're going to perform like it. You know what I'm saying? With that low energy. You're just going to, you know... You know, that's what you're bringing into the world. You got to understand that, bro. You know, when you think about reproduction, when you think about your seed, your seed is supposed to grow something. Even when it's inside of you, it's supposed to grow something. Whether it's new ideas, you know, better thoughts, a better version of you. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to grow something. You know what I mean? Even for on the physical, it's supposed to help you grow something with the energy you have and hitting the gym, eating right. You know what I'm saying? But what you what, what what's it growing when you just letting it come out? You? you know what I mean? When you giving it to the wrong women, when you giving it to these screens and these phones, when you giving it to twerk videos, what are you what are you reproducing? Ask yourself, what are you reproducing, bruh? You know what I mean? But want to be pointing a finger at everybody else. Want to be mad at family. Want to be mad at your moms. You know what I mean? Want to be mad at your dad. You know what I mean? Looking for stuff. Want to be mad at your job. Mad at everything, ass. You know what I mean? Mad at everything, ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, get out of here, man. You know, because ain't nobody else to blame but yourself. So, uh, you know, but 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 you don't want to take accountability or responsibility for what you do with your own hand, what you do with your own mind, what you do with your own thoughts when, when you're in the attitude that you have and how you carry yourself. Oh, you don't want to talk about that, but you know what I'm saying? Let's look for something in this world to blame when you when you when you, when you know what's up out here. You know what I mean? So at this point, well, knowing what we know, bro. All of that stuff go out of the window. We get stripped of that. We get stripped of that. We don't. We don't even have. We don't have the luxury to be depressed. We don't have the luxury to be stressed. We don't have the luxury to blame anybody. When you know what's up. When you know what's up. We leave that. We leave that luxury to everybody else that don't want to grow. You know what I'm saying? That don't want to come up in their life. That don't want to be efficient in what they doing. That don't want to, you know, perform at their highest. You know what I'm saying? We leave that. We leave that to them. We don't got the luxury to do that because the Most High blessed us with knowledge. Blessed us with knowledge. Wisdom. We ain't in the dark no more. We in the light. Fool. What you think this entails, bro? Now that you can see. Now that you can see, bruh. So what you gonna do with it? What you gonna do with it, man? It's all on you. Alright? That's my word, man. My name is Jason and Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.